Lights out, and away we go. And Rockstar gets off the line cleanly, but Infamous Glow has got an even better start from second. And there's Jay Hamster who is alongside in third. Can he outbreak them into turn one? Infamous Glory takes the lead. Jay Hamster nearly got it. And Jay Hamster may have the better line. He leads. Jay Hamster leads the Italian Grand Prix. There's Finn for the Glory. Dropping to second. Rockstar down to third. It's Pimis, Alpha Nino, P Crazy making up places. There's Liverpool fan, Andy Meister, Warrior Huntsman. And Russell Sticks running out the top ten. Coming these to two. So Smalley. Oh, Dixon spins. Oh, there's contact. Smalley breaks his front wing. Oh, that's terrible luck there for Dixon and for Smalley. And it's good news for Lezard. Because all of that is going to see the Alpha Tari driver take the lead very shortly. Now, whether it's on... A couple of tours later, Cochrane's onboard shows a spin in Speedy, narrowly missing both Cochrane and Shake in front. A fine test for quick reactions. Shake's loss of momentum following his evasive manoeuvre had allowed the DAC to close in. As they came up to the start finish straight with DRS, there was only going to be one winner. Nearly going in front there, the two go side by side down into turn two. Harry got the job done there, Big Buzz Wells gets... Goes defensive, but Harry's done it. Harry's up into second place for Red Bull. We've got a yellow flag in set to one. Not sure who it is. It looks like we've got a Ferrari in the walls. It looks like Jay Hartnell has had a moment. He's probably gone off in the runoff area. But Big Smalls is about to lose the position to Saftar now. Saftar is getting his Renault into the act here. But Big Smalls keeps hold of third place. And now the other Red Bull, the Octavian Racer, gets involved. He wants to go up into fourth position, which he does into turn five. Gets his elbows out. Oh, and Safdar gets his rebel up into the top four. Yeah, put into that LMP2 car. We'll find out in a moment. As you can see, Nygaard, or Andre actually, fights in over fourth position in the GTE class. Andre in the white, 911. Nygaard in these yellow, straight green, liveried 95. We want to go back to the lead here because Forza Ferrari is now within DRS. Nexus Cats needs to go defensive. Forza Ferrari down the inside. And he's through into the lead on the last side. Would you believe it? Into they come. Forza Ferrari on his fresh slips of softs. The inside as they go into Vail. Oh, they touch. Go into Vail. I think they just about got away with it. Manajuvikin gets the new fastest lap. Oh, they touch! Right at all, and Quiddy touch, and Brotis through into the lead on the last lap as they begin it now. Oh, and Quiddy wasn't able to leave enough space on the inside of Ryder Dell. And the two come together. I'm sure the stewards will look at that. And, um, because... Correct me if I'm wrong, Tom, but I think Wayne you know, hasn't right? actually won a race yet, has he? No, I want to watch this move here, Toby, because Buemi's about to get the job done here. Here we go, Buemi down inside the cluster, and there is the move for the lead, down into the very anti-alta. So, Sebastian Buemi into the lead, to Costa down into second. This is still crucial for the Costa in terms of the championship. The 16, he's not under threat now from his, his mule, is um, the Mercedes driver, but he's going to use the DRS to try and get in front of Leacat. Which way is he going to go? He's going to go to the outside like he did so before. I think he's going to pull off a similar move to what he did so a lot before on his mule. Goes to the outside and he takes the lead of the Grand Prix. What Fantastic stuff from again. Tesla. Brilliant, brilliant stuff there from the Mercedes.